Thanks for devoting with us this week. St. Paul's has begun a new sermon series entitled No Promises, highlighting five of the most significant promises that God hasn't made. We've also begun a new school theme entitled Standing on the Promises of God, focusing on nine of the most meaningful promises God has made. You're encouraged to visit our website, stpaulspv.com, and click on the link for messages or the link for YouTube to hear the sermons about the promises he hasn't made and the impact they have on our lives. Our weekly devotions on Facebook and Instagram will emphasize the promises he has made, even some of those we'll share throughout our school year. We begin with the promise, God watches over us. That's a familiar word from the Bible and may even conjure images about people who have watched over you. Share with the people nearest you someone that watched over you as a child. Perhaps they made sure you didn't get into too much trouble or things in your life stayed on track. Or maybe share with them someone who watched over you as an adult. They made sure you completed your education and that your career went in the right direction. The Bible testifies over and over again that God watches over us. We read that especially in Psalm 121 that has no fewer than five expressions of God watching over us. I'm going to read the one from verse 8. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. You may want to read through the entire psalm and find the other four mentions of God watching over or keeping us. Those eloquent reminders of God's presence sometimes belie the reality of our circumstance. Some question whether God really watches over them as hardship and tragedy disrupt their lives. The realities of illness, insecurity, and injustice make others question not only if God is watching, but if so, if he really cares. There, even our struggle with this promise drives us back to the word. Shamar is the Hebrew word most often translated watches over. And its essence means to guard or preserve. The image is not that God's people wouldn't encounter attack, but that he fights to make sure they endure despite it. There is a relationship between that which God has and that which he hasn't promised. His guarantee to watch over us is not a pledge to remove difficulties, but rather a commitment to work in them so that we persevere in faith. He did exactly that, even as he watched his son hang on a cross. He worked through difficulty that we might be saved and persevere in faith. Our school theme highlights words from Hebrews 11 as they relate to God's promises. And each promise is partnered with a biblical character described in that chapter. This promise is definitely related to Joseph. The Bible tells us that he was hated by his brothers, sold into slavery, taken to a foreign land, falsely accused of a crime, and unjustly imprisoned. Yet God watched over him every step of the way. He guarded Joseph's faith throughout and even used his struggle and eventual success to bless the lives of many. That is the promise of God that he watches over you, that no matter your circumstance, he will hang on to you and you will persevere to be with him forever. Be invited to join us each Wednesday for these devotions at noon and to worship with us each Sunday for a message at 8.30 and 10 a.m. Have a great week, everyone.